Hello everyone. Today, we'll be taking a look at the top 5 worst SCPs of all time. And by worst, I mean the most ridiculous. This list took about 5 months of diligent research, so if you enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe. It really means a lot. And without further delay, let's crack straight into it. Number 5 on the list is SCP-1093. SCP-1093 is literally a 5'5 five five Caucasian male. For perspective, Elijah Wood from The Hobbit is 5'6". 1093's head is replaced by a ball of light. The head emits about 1,600 lumens, which is about as bright as the average high beam. 1093 also emits enough radiation to cause certain death. A light switch is visible on the back of 1093's neck. Upon deactivation, the body goes limp and the light disappears. Surgery has been performed once and it was discovered that the body of 1093 contains a white gelatinous substance with some random organs mixed in. Number 4 on our list is SCP-6029. SCP-6029 is a crack in the ground that can inhabit other objects by transferring via crack. 6029 was first captured by an individual who placed a brick nearby, and then when the crack took over the brick, they threw it into a bucket of sand. When attacked, 6029 will attempt to crack whatever is attacking the entity. SCP-6029 is currently kept on a small steel block suspended in the air with the use of electromagnets. The entity is required to be fed wooden boards three times a day. Number 3 is SCP-4484. SCP-4484 is a streaming website with varying web addresses that allow the stream's chat to control a random dog through chat spamming, donations, and subscriptions. The point of view is through the dog's eyes, making the experience even more personal. Donations can do everything from making the dog urinate to knocking over objects with its tail. A new dog is selected randomly every eight hours and the old dog becomes an emote in the chat. Number two on our list is SCP-3028. SCP-3028 is a wooden planter box that produces plants with nonsensical political statements on its leaves. The plant's offspring also produce further political statements, forming full essays explaining the plant's position. The planter box was first sold at an art auction to a lawyer, who then passed it on to her son, who then used it to start a business based around provocative blogs. The planter box was eventually seized by the SCP Foundation, where they classified it as a low-value anomalous item, despite producing an exceptionally profitable business. Number one on our list is SCP-686. 686 is an infectious disease derived from tainted cattle. These cattle produce forbidden milk, which, if drank, will cause the subject to produce absurd amounts of milk regardless of gender. If not milled regularly, the individual will begin to grow a massive udder on their front side, eventually anamorphing into a human-cow hybrid. Unfortunately, at this time, there is no cure. And that is it for this one. If you made it to the end, please consider liking and subscribing. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.